What's going on guys? My name is Cody and I'm here to show you how to make a badge design. Now what in the world is a badge design? Yeah, what John. Is <laughs> what is it? I don't know. <laughs> well, there's one on your hat, John. As a matter of fact, uh, John's got a nice Brixton hat here uh, with a nice badge emblem happening. Uh, essentially, it's a circle with information uh, within it. So right here, you got Brixton, trademark supply. Um, so that's a good example of a badge. Thank you, John. Uh, I've also got this uh, nice coaster that I acquired in LA a few years ago. Um, this is also a badge. So you got an icon, you have these like pencil graphics and uh, some typography in the middle there. Um, so yeah, let's uh, show you how to make one in Illustrator. All right, so I think I want to make my badge have to do with this uh, Alpine Beer Company. They're one of my favorite breweries and they have a really good IPA called uh, Alpine Duet IPA. So if you haven't had it, you should try it. Anyways, this is what I'm going to use as my base. So I went ahead and gone in here and basically put some images in here that I think sort of relate to the vibe of Alpine Beer Company. And you got some trees, you got a road and you know, river or whatever the heck. Um, and I've also got in our logo, just to kind of keep that in mind. I might want to use these mountains later. Um, and then I've just sampled uh, some colors from these. So, you know, like a dark forest green and then like this kind of gold color here. So those are the colors that I'm gonna use for my badge. Uh, I'll grab my ellipse tool here and I'll go to the middle of my document and hold shift alt and just kind of drag this out. This is gonna be our badge right here. Cool, so now we have like the base of our badge. We'll go to edit, copy, edit, paste in place. That creates a copy right on top. We're gonna shrink this down a little bit and we're gonna add a stroke to both of these with our gold color. And let's try, let's see, 16 point. There, now I have two stroke circles or ellipses, however you wanna call it. Um, and we're gonna go ahead and type in duet. And I got this cool font called matchup which I think is very craft beersy and very outdoorsy. And it just kind of looks cool. So we'll choose our gold color, which is the center. And we'll just kind of put it right in the middle there. Maybe bring it in a little bit so we can make it bigger. Cool, that seems to work. Now we'll grab our line tool and we'll just hold shift and drag it across. And then we will also just kind of sample with our eyedropper the other stroke. So now we have the same exact stroke weight. And we'll just drag him right here. And then we'll just duplicate this guy, bring him over. We're kind of just building this like little area that we can put our text in. And so, um, you know, looking at their site, their name is Alpine Beer Company. So we'll put our brand title here. Edit, copy, edit, paste in place. Now what we're doing is we're creating a track for our text to kind of live on and we just we don't want any color applied to this we'll just take both the stroke and the fill off this is where our text is going to live so we'll go type on a path tool click on that it kind of puts some more of some text in there you can just delete that and we'll just go ahead and type alpine beer company and we'll make it our gold color kind of bring this over here I think I want to use a different font for this, though, to give it some contrast. So we'll try our bourbon grotesque that we have here. Make that a little bit bigger. And we can just hold Alt and kind of uh, curve this out a little bit more. Just make it kind of line up here. Maybe just shrink it down a little bit. And let's make this circle a little smaller, too. I'm thinking this spacing needs to be updated here. And we'll just fix our line arrows and then we'll make our font a little bit bigger so it fills up the space better there we go you just kind of kind of eyeball it and just see what works for you but I'm liking the way that this is turning out here cool so we got Alpine beer company all right now we're gonna duplicate this when you edit copy edit paste in place and we're just gonna spin it around Gonna rotate it right there. Now, I don't want this text to be upside down, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find, there's this little uh, there's this little line right here that if you hold it down and click, you can just drag and you can reverse it. Now, see how they're kind of off-center? All I have to do is just kind of scale up, kind of match it up. We're just gonna scale it back down and find out what this one is. So this is 38.33. Let's just make that 40. 
and we'll make this one 40. Cool, so now they're like basically the same size. And we're just gonna say, really rad beer. That's my own description of it. Cool. And maybe this font will do a, di a different font too. Um, let's try this din. There we go. This is a cool, I'll put a stroke on it because I only have one weight in this font. Just to make it stand out a little bit more. Cool, so I put a one point stroke on there. That's looking cool, make it a little bit bigger. Cool, so now we have our you know title, our brewery title, and then just some cool kind of descriptor here. Um, now we gotta put the IPA in there. So let's get a IPA all caps. Maybe we'll do some uh, Bebo's font. With badges, I like to explore a few different fonts just because I think, you know, you don't want everything to look exactly the same. So we'll get a nice kind of bold uppercase font here. Make it our color. And just kind of center this puppy right in there. You can kind of play around the hierarchy here, but I kind of like this size, I think, for right now. Cool, let's just come together now. Let's add some more um, variety in this badge. It's kind of plain right now. So maybe we can um, maybe add some lines right here or something. So I'll just grab this one, hold Alt, and just bring this over. And I'll grab my direct selection tool, extend this guy to the edge. Oops, drag him over this way. And then we'll just du duplicate this guy. Uh-oh, Peter's about to die. Um, bring this guy over here. And Command D, and now we have like four copies. Or sorry, three copies. We'll just drag this over, kind of line these up on the circle. We're just creating some texture here, some visual interest that kind of, you know, makes this badge seem a little bit, like it has a little bit more depth. And that's looking kind of cool. I might bump all these guys up a little bit more so that this space is a little bit bigger. So I'll just select them all and kind of bring them all up together. That's looking better. And then I just gotta go and refine these edges. So you can use that with your arrow too. I'll just grab the point, kind of move it over. And already it's starting to look kind of cool. Like there's some good texture going on here. It's well balanced, a little minimal, but still kind of busy at the same time. I know I'm contradicting myself, but you know what I mean. And we'll bring our duet up there a little bit. Cool. Now let's um, you know, let's grab these guys. Let's grab these mountains. You know, let's let's honor the brand and and put their uh, their mountains in there. So what I'm gonna do is. I'm gonna grab my pencil tool, and I'm just gonna very quickly, it doesn't have to be perfect for now, I'm just gonna go over this guy. And just sort of create these mountains. And you know, we're basically creating a little scalable vector here so we can blow this up. Probably would wanna get permission from Alpine if you were gonna reproduce this, maybe pitch it to them as an idea. But this is just for fun, so. Got that one. Let's make this middle guy. connected so we just gotta keep following it all the way down. Again it doesn't have to be perfect. It's just uh just some mountains. Mountains are very jagged and kind of random but they do have the point at the top so as long as we have that. Cool and just you know very quickly I just created some basic vector mountains. So we'll take these guys and we'll just put them up here and we'll just group them. That way we can scale up. Cool. Uh, I feel like it's just missing one more thing. So maybe if we uh, put the year that they're established. ESTB, to be all cool and hipster, uh, 1999. And we'll grab a smaller, or not smaller, uh, a lighter weight. And just shrink this guy down. Maybe regular. Move our mountains down a little bit. And just to kind of follow the circle, we'll make this thing arc. So. We'll just put the warp arch on there. Uh, maybe we'll do a, maybe we'll do an arc and then an arch. And there we go. So now we have a badge. Um, you know, you can use this on a, on a hat, print it on a coaster, maybe make a sticker out of it. 
do whatever you want with it really. It's just a cool looking um, little badge that, you know, you can brag to your friends about that you made it. And uh, that's basically it. Thanks for watching guys. If you like the video, please subscribe and uh, <laughs> you can watch more of my videos. Thanks John.